I've no idea what that is. Horrible coloured stuff. So on the track day video, you may have seen that I had quite an oil issue. Um, I'm pretty certain it wasn't the turbo that's gone, thankfully. Um, but what it was, you know, it's one of two things really. Either my baffle plate's not working correctly, and the oil was sloshing from one head across the baffle plate and into the other one and just getting sucked up the breather pipes. Um, or it was just because I don't run a catch can, and that does suck a lot up. On one of the old Donut Media ones, they had a Turbo X5 with no catch can, and that had quite a lot of blow by. Uh, Subarus do as well especially forged so I'm, I'm thinking it's that so to sort that out and, and by the way i know there's something wrong with the car because i've done about 500 miles since and it's been perfect but to sort that breathing issue out catch cam so i've gone for a mishimoto item which is quite nice you've got a bronze filter gauze yeah just inside there and then you've also got the baffle plate and this is the three port one um so i've got two ins and an out which is perfect so what i'll do is i'll link both the heads together to one to go into one in on here and then the other one will come from the crankcase which goes through the pcv valve now i have bought a new pcv valve there now i haven't checked the old one the old one might have been working perfectly fine uh, but these are nine quid for a brand new subaru part so i'll just fit that it rattles nice um, and then the, on the ports on your Mishimoto, comes with these, these are quite nice. Um, so you just thread them on there, there's no need to go AN fittings or anything like that on a breather system. I know they look good, but you don't need to. These are 12mm internal diameter, so I've ordered myself 12mm of fuel line. Um, only reason being is because obviously oil, fuel vapour, a bit of heat should be fine in this. Uh, and you don't need any clips either on any of these because it's only a very, very low pressure system and that is tight on there. Uh, only problem is, is the PCV valve is 14 mil external diameter. So that might be a problem, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can force it on there. Right, I'll show you where I'm gonna mount it. I'm at a bit of advantage here, because I've got the single turbo stuff. There's a load of pressure sensors I don't need. One of them is the differential pressure sensor, which goes on that unused bracket. So I'm gonna mount this down there. Show you a little bit closer to this, but you see the ports, so they're nicely labelled in, out, in. Um, obviously, they come with these already. And then this top plate, this comes off and allows you to rotate it around once it's in position. So, what I'm going to do, and I do recommend that you put all your ports on just loose, otherwise, you might attach it somewhere and then it not fit. It's going to go there. Now that doesn't clash with anything. Even the aircon pipe is clear if I just bring it over there. The good thing about using that bracket, it's already got an M6 tapped hole. These aren't six mil. So I just need to drill one of them out or drill one in the center. And let's go for it there. Okay, so. Hopefully you can see that. That's the standard size hole. I've just opened it out to six and a half mil, so I can get my nice M6 fixing through. These are what are provided. Nothing wrong with these, really. Um, but it's not. That's okay if you go into, a, I don't know. I was gonna say a car you don't care about, or into plastic or something like that. I don't wanna put two new permanent holes in the car. No, I can use a proper bolt. Let's get mounted. Now would be a good time to get these tightened up. You don't want to do it in the car. Can't see them leaking, but if they do, I'll put a bit of sealant on them threads. Just a quick one. This is one of the blanked off breather pipes that I don't need from the twin turbo system. But that was pointing downwards in the engine bay. That'd be why it's smoking, because it gets full of oil, getting sucked into the intake pipe. Grim, look at all that oil coming out. Okay, excuse the terrible drawing, but what we're gonna do is go from this head and this head is one system, there's two systems at play. And we're gonna go both of them up here and then a nice big long pipe all the way under here, tee that in and then go to an in. That's dead easy. So that's both header breathers connect together and go to one inlet on this. The other inlet, so normally on your car, you've got this crankcase vent and it goes straight into the PCV valve. 
Now the PCV valve, when the car is under boost, is shut. So what that does is nothing basically, and it all breathes through the head. However, when it's under um, vacuum, that opens up, that's your throttle body, and that pipe goes straight into the throttle body. Uh, which isn't a problem because when you're under boost, these are normally connected to that intake pipe. So all the pressure can go out there. What we're going to do instead is go crankcase vent up here to an in on this. So all pressure now goes into there. And then the crankcase vent, the PCV valve, what that can do is go to an out. Not a problem. The downside to this now is it means that under boost, when that is closed, no, all your pressure is not going anywhere because that's short. So you've got in, in, and your crank also going in. So what you need to do is tee that one off as well and connect that to this pipe, your inlet pipe. So now you've got a place for the air to go on boost and vacuum. On the PCV valve replacement, I don't think there's anything wrong with the old one, but they say nine quid, I'll change it out anyway. Now you do need a 19 mil deep socket and you're gonna have to take your top man off if you've got one. And it has to be quite a thin wall. It has to be quite a thin wall, otherwise you're not gonna get in. Don't ask me how I'm That is a tapered thread, so don't go mad. I'm about ready to mount that. I've got one hose here, which is the, the two header breathers linked together. I just need to make a small hose from that to that one. Um, that's obviously my out, which I'm gonna do once all that side's back together. Then that one's from the crankcase breather, which fits perfectly. So I'm gonna slot that on there, leave a load coming from that to head that way, and then assemble, it, assemble the rest when it's in. You're gonna see me use these things every now and then. Um, they're not great, they're pretty poor quality, but I really like them because you can just finger screw them on for now, and then when I'm happy with the setup and where the lines and that go, I'll swap them out. So you'll see them, but they're not staying. A quick recap really, you've got one breather from the head, there that black plastic, that pipe which is this one goes under my intake manifold round here to this three-way connector. That three-way connector is that pipe there is from that other head and then this pipe here is the standard pipe from the head on this side which is straight down that gap. Sorry, I can't show you. Um, and then, obviously, we're just joining them up to create this, and that's going to go to our in. Slide that on there. That's your headers. Done. The next one then, the easiest one to sort, is that down there. That one, as in this one here, is your crankcase vent and all that needs to do is go straight to an in so i've run that pipe over there to this one labeled up in this one here okay so the, it's the easiest way of doing it is splitting up the ins and the outs so the ins and i've gone over it but they are both heads joined together and then go into one in the other one's dead easy crank a uh, crankcase vent to the other in um, so once they're done and plumbed in, which mine are, then you've got to go to the out on the catch can, which is actually into the engine. Um, so I'll show you what they are. So the centre port is the out, and that means air to flow out of your catch can, which means into the engine. So I've gone straight to this T. Now that pipe, this pipe here, this one goes straight into the PCV valve, which is under there. The other T goes I've not yet to attach it, but it's got to go down under here and then into, mine goes into here, which is into the inlet system. 
So it means that when the car is under vacuum, it goes in the PCV and straight through into the intake manifold. But when it's under boost, which means the inlet pipe will be sucking quite hard, then all the vacuum will go in through there and through the turbo, which is again what we want. I mean, it really is that simple. It's dead easy to explain. It's dead fiddly to put all the uh, piping through. Cause I mean, 12 and a half mil is quite thick, quite thick pipe there. Um, but a bit of careful planning. You might have to take your intercooler pipe off or you'll definitely have to take your intercooler off to get to your PCV valve if you've got top mount. Um, but other than that, I bought three meters of pipe and I had that much spare. So if you reckon you're gonna get it wrong or you want to try a different route in, probably go four meter that. Uh, otherwise, that's it. I'm going to put a couple of hundred miles on it. Check the oil again. I uh, say a tank of fuel, so about 250, 260 miles. Uh, and then we'll see how much oil is in that catch can. So, catch can was installed. Done about a thousand road miles. Just emptied it all. We've done a thousand road miles. And as you can hear, back at Donington to do some more laps. I've just put a fresh tank of oil in it. Um, so, that's all clean. So, we should be able to see if it's any different to what is in there. But, I don't know if I come closer, we've got this. It looks like sunflower oil. Not entirely sure what that is, or if that's supposed to be that colour. But that's what was in there after a thousand miles, and then about five quickish laps. So I'm gonna put this back on, do a full track there, we'll put some footage in, and then we'll see what's in this. But, importantly, no smoke. No smoke and no oil. On the last video, no oil coming out of here, that's how excessive it was. And we've took the air filter off. No oil in the air filter either, which are two things we had last time, and no smoke. So we'll go back out on the track and see what it does. There's a bit in there, there's not a lot. Tip it out. It's a really weird colour. Bubbles, I thought they were hard bits then, thankfully. Yeah, normally, so that stuff normally would have been thrown back into your intake. I've got no idea what that is. Horrible coloured stuff. Um, but it's not going back into the car anymore, which is good. Catch can working really well. No smoke, no oil usage. I think we've sussed it.